Hello everybody, thanks for coming down to watch the video review of the new Transformers The Last Knight Deluxe Class Dinobot Slug. So here he is, but before we take a look at the figure, we'll take a very quick look at the packaging. So here it is, you can see he's ages 8 and over from The Last Knight. He's an Autobot, and he transforms in 18 steps, also in his way of our drift and squeaks. You've got your product pictures, and on this side, you can see he's a fiery warrior. And that's it for the packaging. So let's actually take a look at the figure. And as you can see, Slug is a dinosaur, and a Triceratops to be exact. Although he does have three horns, which means that he might be a different kind of dinosaur. The horns are made out of a soft plastic, and he is painted gold and blue. It's a pretty nice color combination for him. For articulation, his front arms are on a ball joint, but can't really move too far. They bend 90 degrees, and his mouth does open and close, and his head goes up and down. For the tail, it can move like that, but that's for transformation. The back legs are firmly in place, and that's it for the articulation. There's not much. He does come with two weapons, his two swords. They look very nice. They're made out of a soft, bendy, rubbery plastic. And they store in him. It's kind of weird how they store. They come in like this. It's really hard to get done sometimes. And they just go in like that. And that kind of looks weird. It's, I guess if he was running and then he could slice people on his way. But it doesn't really look too good, to be honest. So I won't really store him like that. But, otherwise, this is a very nice looking dinosaur mode. It has quite a few, quite a few empty gaps down here. So, you can see, like, this big hole in here. But, I'm honestly okay with that. And, really, that's it for his dino mode. It's pretty nice. The head is very nice. His eyes are really cool red. And, for paint, he has some pretty good paint detail. And that's how he looks from the top. And you can't really tell how he's going to transform. So that's pretty cool. For a size comparison, here he is next to the Power Function Swoop from Age of Extinction. Or sorry, Strafe. And for another comparison, here he is next to Age of Extinction Scorn. You can see how they look. And lastly, here he is with Grimlock. And they look pretty good together. So, that pretty much does it for Slug's Dino Mode. So, let's get down to transformation. So, to transform him, the first thing that you're going to want to do is just come around to the back of him and lift this tail part up. Now, some people don't tab it in, but it actually does tab in. And it's really hard to get in there, but you can see when you lift it up that two tabs over here and then the slots over there. So just lift that up and fold that in. Next, what you're going to want to do is come to the back legs and just fold them out like that. Take the dinosaur foot and put that in. Straighten out the leg. And bring out the foot. So you can see how they are. Do the same thing on the other side. Just take that out. Fold that in. Flip out the foot. And now you have your dinosaur standing up on its hind legs. Like that. Now come on to the side over here. And just untab these because there's a little tab over there and it slots in right there. So do that on both sides. Come around to the front, lift that up. Then split the entire dino head in half. Now this is kind of hard to do sometimes because it really does tab securely. So just flip that out. Take this entire area, this entire place and just move it out like so. Take these flaps. Fold them in. And now you've cleaned it up a little more. Now you're going to want to flip out the fists. 
close up the arm and you got the arms all done like so next you're going to want to come around to the back take the dino arms move them down just like that do that on both sides like that then you're going to want to just bring down the dino heads and straighten this all out. So make sure that these parts over here, they fill in the gaps. So just do that on both sides. Then, this is kind of tricky, just take the dino arms and you'll see that there is a slot right there, sorry, a tab right there and a slot right in there. So you're gonna wanna take the tab and just put it in. Now it can be tricky on your first try, but after you do it a few times, it gets kind of easy. So just do that on both sides. Ah. Kind of gets annoying in this part of the transformation, but as long as you have patience and you can actually wait, then you can do it. But again, it is tricky to do. There, got it in. Next, you're just gonna straighten everything out. Get everything in proper position. Be sure that his, everything's folded in. Be sure that these parts are tucked down like that and that the dino heads are put as far down as possible. And there you have Slug in his robot mode. And I really think that he looks cool. He's very bulky. And I like how they've done a great job of hiding all of the mass in his dinosaur mode into his fists. Which is really cool. I really like how they did that. And um, I really like how they've given him a very knight-like look. With the head sculpt and the kind of what looks like chainmail hanging down. He looks very nice. Um, for articulation, his head's on a ball joint. So it can move... Not really up, but you can look down side to side. These kind of do hinder the movement, though. The arms do move up and down. These do move to accommodate the movement, but they can't go all the way, so that's too bad. They move up and down, side to side. They bend at the elbow, 90 degrees. Very tough bend over there. Hands do move in, but that's only for transformation. And for the legs, there's a ball joint over here. It can move out, but stop by this right here. And um, also, the knee does bend, but be careful of this not breaking. Let's do that. Feet do pivot. And um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for articulation. Oh, wait, he does have a waist swivel. So just like that. Can move full 360. But sometimes the dino arms do get caught over here in this. So that's too bad, but it still works very nicely. And of course, his weapons over here can go into his arms. Or sorry, into his hands. like that and you can get him into a cool pose he has a lot of articulation and yeah that's pretty much it for his robot mode it's very nice looking um they did kind of do the same thing as grimlock with the dino heads on the side and i actually like that i like how they reuse something good about one figure and put it into another figure. So that that's nice. I like that. And for a size comparison, here he is with Deluxe Class Scorn. And you can see how they scale together. And here he is with his wave mate, Drift. Right there. See how they scale? 
And lastly, here he is with Bumblebee. He can just straighten out his legs so that he's at his full height. Like that. And that's how they scale together. And so that's pretty much it for Slug. So everyone, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys all again soon.